Hello and welcome to another Blueprint IoT video and today's topic is the Wheatstone Bridge. Before we dive in, make sure to be familiar with the principle of the voltage divider. So the Wheatstone Bridge consists of two bridge branches, which are connected to each other side by side, as any other bridge as well. The bridge itself is connected to a voltage supply, in this example at the top to plus and at the bottom to minus. The resistor in the upper left corner is called R1 and in the upper right corner R2. Down on the right we have Rm, the resistor we want to measure. That's the resistor who is supposed to be a sensor or anything else. At the end of the day a resistor we want to measure the resistance of. Down on the left we have Re, a variable resistor which can manipulate it as we wish. Right in between the two branches we have an amp meter to measure the current between the two branches. The most important precondition is that R1 is exactly the same as R2. It doesn't matter which resistance they have as long as the resistance is exactly the same. Let's assume the voltage supply is 10 volts which also means the potential right here at the top is 10 volts as well. So those 10 volts are going to be distributed across R1 and RV as well as on the right branch across R2 and RM. This also means that we have a potential of 5 volts on the left hand and 5 volts on the right hand assuming RV and RM are the same size. And since we have the same potential on both sides of the amp meter this results in a current of zero amps. In reality we would probably find a difference in potential like 8 volts on the right hand side and 5 volts on the left hand side. This difference in potential will lead to a current flowing through the amp meter. So this current is created by the difference of potential. So the 5 volts are the lower potential and the 8 volts are the higher potential. It doesn't matter if you name it potential or potential difference or voltage levels but it's important that this difference in potential is the cause for the current to flow and trying to equalize the difference in potential. So let's assume RE is 500 ohm which leads to 5 volts on the left hand side and 8 volts on the right hand side. What we're going to do now is manipulate RE to equalize the difference of potential between left and right hand side. In this case the 5 volts on the left hand side are too small so we need to increase our re to reach for a higher potential on the left hand side. And it turns out at 708 ohm we have reached the same potential on the left hand side as on the right hand side which will lead to 0 amps in our amp meter. And since R1 equals R2 this means R e equals Rm. So since R re is 708 ohm Rm is also 708 ohm. So just by manipulating Re to aim for 0 amps in the amp meter we just figured out how big is Rm. In this case 708 ohm. So let's sum up the pattern. First of all we're going to change Re as long as we reached 0 amps in the amp meter and from there we know that Rm is the same as RE. So the speciality about the Wheatstone bridge is that R1 is the same as R2 which enables us to capitalize on this simple process to more or less figure out what's RM instead of measuring in a traditional way. So that's basically all you need to know about the Wheatstone bridge. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more content.